everyone and welcome back to the vlog. It's a very chilly minus four degrees. We've got some snow on the ground with ice and a little bit of mist. And uh, a very happy new year to you. You're probably watching this in 2023. So firstly, happy new year. And also thanks ever so much for everybody that subscribed. We've had an amazing response to the vlog so far. So uh, thank you and uh, hopefully, Follow me on some more adventures through Scotland. Today I'm following the River Tay. Uh, we've got a lovely bit of mist just laying on the river and uh, hoping to find some nice real silhouette tree shots and some nice frosty images. So uh, let's see what we can find. One of the things that I really enjoy about photographing at this time of the year is the way that the snow and the ice really simplifies the landscape and can give your images a real soft and delicate feel to them. And then if you've got mist as well, it becomes a lot easier to isolate your subjects like trees and hills. But obviously it can still be challenging standing around in freezing conditions, so good to keep the limbs moving. Okay, so I've come across my first composition, fairly straightforward, and we've got these layers of light where we can see, we can just make out the trees in the distance. Uh, we've got a nice small fence running along. We've got these very muted soft colours where the ground is covered with a nice icy frost. And uh, fairly straightforward, we've got the tree to the right hand side of the image, which is filling up most of the right hand side and then leaving lots of space to the left so that we can see those trees in the distance. I'll just show you on the back of the camera what I'm looking at. So if we look on the back of the camera, fairly straightforward as you can see, we've got the lovely silhouette of the tree on the right hand side. We've got this beautiful shadow that just drops below the tree there, taking us over into the left of the image. The mist is just clearing now and again and we've got these silhouettes of trees sat in the distance there that are just covered with the mist. And to the right hand side of the image, just under the tree, just to the bottom right there, we've got a few more trees that are just coming through in the mist. They're getting a little patches of sky just coming through in some really soft warm light. So uh, good start to the day and here's the first image. is the longest river in Scotland and stretches from the west down to the east across central Scotland and stretches for around 120 miles and uh, is pretty famous amongst anglers across the world for its salmon fishing.
Okay, so I've come across this real spooky scene down on the river. Well, I'm not actually not on the river. This is like an inlet that comes off of it. And uh, we've got these trees that are reaching out across the water and because of the heavy mist, they really do look kind of spooky with their branches reaching out. The problem with this photo is, is that I haven't really got a good foreground interest. There's nothing really sort of weighting the image down. So I'm going to take a several shots. I'm going to take a couple of shots with the tree on the left coming out across the water with the tree across the right. And I'm also going to isolate both of them uh, zooming in because it's the lights very soft. I'm, I haven't got an awful lot of detail in there. So the tree on the right hand side, where they're all grouped together, may just become one big solid mass. So uh, and we've got these, <laughs> I don't know if you can see on the video, but we've got the ducks that are just swimming across there. So I'm on my 80 to 200 millimeter lens around about, and I'm around about the 80 millimeter mark. Um, I'm on ISO 64, F9, about a 30th of a second. And uh, I'm just going to take several shots. The light keeps breaking through, which is really nice. Um, and there is a big tree in the background as well, which is just silhouetted. So uh, I don't know, we'll take several shots and here's the image. Definitely came to the right place today for photographing. The uh, mist just seems to be lingering. Every now and again it clears, but uh, I think the, the way the river flows through the glen here, I think that it uh, really keeps the, keeps the mist in. So uh, it's just beautiful. The colors, we've got some golden colors reflecting off of the ice. A few patches of blue break through in the clouds and uh, lovely soft, gentle tones. Looks like someone's had a good chew on this branch. Okay, so I've come across this really delicate scene just on the bend of the River Tay here where we've got this tree that reaches out across into the water. We've still got the lovely mist which is really softening the background. Again, I, I, I don't have the sort of strong foreground interest but I think sometimes with a real soft delicate scene like this it isn't always needed. So you can see on the back of the camera it really is soft delicate image with the mist behind we've got the tree which just is reaching out into the water and just touching the top of the water and we've got these lovely trees sat behind the mist is really blocking out the detail there and uh, we've just got a little bit of flow in the water and that longer exposure not too long but that longer exposure is really just going to clean that water out so that we get a really stronger reflection in our image. Polar, polarizer on but not too much adjustment to stop the reflections because we like that light bouncing off. We're getting a sort of a golden and blue colour now. So uh, let's take a few more images and uh, here it is. 
important in these conditions to wrap up warm and keep your gear safe from the elements. If you missed my last vlog on five tips to photographing in freezing conditions, follow the link at the end of the video. There's some great tips in there. pretty much photograph throughout the day. The sun stays low in the sky, giving a real golden light and long soft shadows. It always amazes me when I'm out photographing in these conditions how the wildlife just seems to carry on its daily routine around me. I stood watching this small bird, possibly a grebe. He was diving under the water searching for fish and I really quickly felt the cold. It gives me a real new respect for wildlife photographers. Well, I think that's about it for today. Uh, the mist has cleared. I mean, the light's still beautiful. I could carry on photographing right into the evening, but uh, starting to get a little bit cold now. So thanks again for joining me on this vlog. And uh, I've got some great adventures planned for 2023, including a trip to the Isle of Mull, Harrison Lewis. Uh, I'm going to be heading over to the West Coast to capture uh, rainforest and some of the dramatic coastlines. So uh, please join me on those adventures. If you've enjoyed the vlog, please click subscribe, click the notification button so that you don't miss an episode and leave me a comment down below. It, all the feedback really helps and I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs>